It's live on KEXP, and I'm your host, Evie, from listener-powered KEXP. We are at 90.3 FM in Seattle and streaming 24-7 at KEXP.org and our free mobile apps. And we are a nonprofit. Live performances like this one are made possible because of listener support. So thank you so much for that. Um, and I'm super excited to be joined today by Archers of Loaf. Thank you all so much for being here uh, to share your music with us today, Thanks. whenever you're ready. Thank you so very much for having us. Thank you. Listening to Archers of Loaf live here on KEXP. Just doing a little instrument change. It's 
all Eric Johnson's fault. It's <laughs> the price you pay for art. Archers of Loaf, live here on KEXP, and now it's your fault, Eric. You're holding ready. it up.
Archers of Loaf here live on KEXP. This is Eric Johnson again, causing this delay. <laughs> It's Archers of Loaf live here in KEXP, sounding incredible today. Thank you so much again for being here. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. How'd that feel? Great. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> well, we're all very excited to have you. There's lots of people in the building who are very excited to have you here. Thanks. Should know that. Thank you. Um, and I, you've all been making music together now for a long time, and it's been off and on for over 30 years, right? That's correct. <laughs> you've branched yeah. off for solo projects. You've come back together. And now you're touring around this new record, um, which is your first album in over 20 years, Recent in Decline. Uh, how does it feel to be making music and touring together again? It's like wrecking a bike. Is it? It is like yeah. crashing a, a bike. A musical bike, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's just like crashing a bike. It feels, it hurts. Everything hurts. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like a little concerned old, to hear that, but. It just, no, just, <laughs> just like living and walking around and. Everything hurts mm. when when you get old like this. Yeah. yeah. So rock and roll hurts. Yeah. Well, I'm about 10 years behind you, so that's good to hear. You got plenty of yeah. time. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> yeah. uh, so does it? Do, do you feel like when you come back together and start making music after you take some time off, does it, it just happen supernaturally? I think the arrangement stuff happens very naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's quite. At least for me, I can't speak for. I mean, maybe it's hard to come up with parts, but we spend a lot of time. Like I send stuff to EJ, and it takes a while. But yeah. it's, it's very, uh, it's a very familiar group of people in process. So, I would imagine after it's, it's all good. Stuff. Yeah, it's, it feels good. I would argue. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. Do you? I'm, I'm hoping you can tell me some about making this new album. If, if well, you'd like yeah. To. I mean, we uh, we got together to do shows, just shows. We had written maybe six songs, and then uh, we were going to tour, and uh, and then COVID happened. Have you guys heard of this? I've heard mention of it, So yes. we, this happened, and then it kind of canceled everything, which was bad. Uh, but then that gave us time to maybe put a, to, to put a record together, because mm -hmm. we were wanting to do that, but we just hadn't had time to do that, because we don't live in the same town as much anymore. So we, we, we took the time that COVID provided us and uh, made the record. And uh, we did it in Asheville at a place called Drop of Sun, and uh, that's where we had been rehearsing, so we kind of got along with those guys. And, and uh, it just kind of happened... Uh, I wouldn't say quickly, but it, but it was, 
it was only the, the difficulty was only because we didn't live in the same place. Mm. In terms of the process, it was pretty uh, pretty familiar, pretty easy to get back to it. So. For the first time, we used like the internet. <laughs> like we we sent files to each other and stuff like that, and that made a huge difference, I think. Yeah. And we recorded it a little bit differently. Like you know, the the process was a little different, but mm. yeah, it was nice being able to like email songs to each other. Yeah, in 1997, we had made the last record, and that was on tape, you know. Mm. Yeah. So all the, <laughs> we had, of course, worked on Pro Tools and what have you, but for us to do it as a band was a new, yeah. made it even easier, you know, so. Do you write in the, like, in the room together? We arrange everything in the yeah. room together, kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll send, uh, I'll write the skeleton, and I'll send it to Eric Johnson. And it just, we're so silly. I know it sounds messy, but we're kind of meticulous about the guitars, so. We, we toss it back and forth, because in old days, these poor guys, the Mark and Matt, had to go to the happy store and buy their, their heroin and their... Our, our Milwaukee's their, their bill, best Their light. beer and their... You know, they had <laughs> yeah. to go there. Well, we worked out stuff for an hour or two, because <laughs> they would just get so bored waiting for us to work stuff out. So this, that's one of the benefits of, of, te of technology. We kind of did that before we had to present it to them. And then. It sounds like a very happy store. Yeah, the happy a happy store, store, yeah. It's a nice store, yeah. 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 Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I'm hoping that we can talk a little bit about sort of the content of this album yeah, and sure. the fact that you can tell in, in some of the, the lyrics on these new songs that you're touching a little bit on mental health, um, which I think we can probably bring back to the, the times we are currently living in and have been living in over the last few years. And I'm just, what inspired this sort of So, I mean, that was the thing. Uh, when when COVID happened, you know, we I had been be able to go perform and play music. And I've been doing this since I was 14, and you weren't allowed to do that anymore. So uh, I kind of hit a wall, and I'm not alone in that. I'm sure many people hit a wall. So I, uh, it just kind of came out quite naturally. I'm always reticent to share too much, uh, not in songs, but in, in this context. Right. <laughs> but it was depression. It was just anxiety and stuff. Everybody, you know. And so, uh, and so that kind of came out. But I also, uh, I also think politically it was kind of rough because I think Trump was president, and I'm not going to, you know, hide behind that or whatever. I, I hate that. I hated that situation, you know. So I, I thought he was Hard did, same. did a, did a, did a Horrible terrible time. job. So, <laughs> um, and my, I have a lot of, fam my, my, my sister-in-law, my brother's wife works at the CDC. So she was able to give me uh, information. Like she, did, she didn't say too much because she's not allowed, but it's just like the job that they did wasn't necessarily the best because they were having a hard time dealing with that. So all that stuff just adds to the fact that you can't do what you normally do to deal with your demons, you know. Right. <laughs> Which if, if I'm just used to getting in a car and driving and being alone and having that space, it was gone. I couldn't do that. So, and I had a child, and that added to it. You know, you have a child, and my wife's an ICU nurse, so mm. she's coming home working with COVID patients, coming home to my three-year-old, and it's like, uh, so that drove me crazy. Do you have a five-year-old now? I do. Yeah. How does your five-year-old feel about your music? Oh God, you know, <laughs> oh, I had this great video that <laughs> great my, my wife and I agreed I shouldn't play for anybody, just just friends, and it would have been a great ad for the album because he's like, I hate your new music. <laughs> I like your old music. I'm like, well, what's wrong with the new music? He says it's too slow. It's too slow. Wow. And he's like, what, what do you like about the old music? Is it fast? Wow. So he doesn't like it. He, he I changes mean, from the, the songs. Of babes, right? Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> changes the lyrics. So what happens is it's revealed. You know, the, the younger generation is re is revealing that I wrote it. We wrote it wrong. Okay. And he's correcting it. That is so kind of him. Yeah, it yeah. is. So the yeah. like a, a chorus that used to say like one thing, he he changes it to something more direct and <laughs> easy to easy to digest. So besides your son, uh -huh. uh, where, where else are you finding happiness? Because we, we're certainly, <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> we go to the happy store. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I forgot about that one. Uh, I think um, we're still living in some pretty challenging times. I mean, things mm -hmm. have improved somewhat in some areas. But where are you, like, all of you, not just you, Eric, but where yep. is everybody finding joy from Archers of Loaf these days? I'm, I'm playing lots of music, and that's kind of keeping me sane. And crazy, I guess, simultaneously. And uh, and I got a girlfriend that, you know, we laugh a lot. And, you know, that keeps me from going totally nuts. She's got two really cute kitty cats that I like. I love cats. Yeah, they kind of pile <laughs> up on me when I yeah. when I sleep over there. It's really amazing what, um, what a purring cat can do for... Changes your whole mindset. It does. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. Dogs and cats, wonderful. Yes. Agreed. Well... One more question for you. This one may be the most important. Um, if you could give me some advice on, how, advice on how to remain friends with somebody for 30 years and still make such wonderful music, 
<laughs> What's the secret? I don't like these people. Yeah, I mean, you're making an assumption there. <laughs> <laughs> we do it for the cash. Yeah. I mean, it's so much money. <laughs> yeah. uh, we do it playing for rock music money. is playing guitar it's rock in, in 2023 yeah. is just really what you want to do. Yeah. If you want to make a lot of money. I've heard that. Don't yeah. do finances. Don't do uh, no. build. Don't become a builder. Just play, <laughs> a, play in a mediocre rock band. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, it just rolls in, you know. It just kind of falls from the sky. Falling from the sky, yeah. The, tr the hard part is finding what to do with it all. Yeah. Yeah. But then, then you can just buy your friends and, mm -hmm. hey, EJ, I'll be like, Eric, here's 20 bucks. Just leave me alone for an hour. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that you got it. Does that work well? Yes. Yeah, good. Yes. Okay. And that's that's how we do it. Well, you know, if you, also if you have children, then that's where all of your money can go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Indeed, yeah. Every yeah. single yeah. dollar. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here today. It was really nice to yeah. talk to you. Thanks Likewise. for this great performance. Thank you and so much for having us. Thank yeah, you. it's good to have you. Um, hopefully you can come back soon. I'll yeah, put that I out love there. it. So, yeah. yeah, we'd yeah. love to. Well, thank you to you for listening and watching today. If you want to find more sessions like this one, you can go to uh, our YouTube channel, to KEXP's YouTube channel, and subscribe because these um, are made possible like, by donor support. Your support matters. It powers sessions like this. So if you can make a gift in any amount today, um, it is very, very helpful empowering these sessions. Uh, and gifts of any amount make a difference. So thank you. This has been Archers of Loaf live here in KEXP. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.